Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. And surprise, surprise, the VZ butt V1.8 slash Trident skirt mashup is done. Um, so I'm gonna in this video, I'm just gonna you know run through some things that I think of it, some positives, some negatives, and just give my overall opinion and feel and vibe and as much information as I can give. Try not to go on a tangent. At, 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 um, also. Um, because there's so much stuff in my head to unpack so bear with me guys um, So let's get into it. So as you can see I heard you guys in the comments I heard you guys on Facebook build a VZ bot build a VZ bot build a VZ bot listen I've been subscribed to these um, Simon Vest channel for a while now. I I, I want to get one thing straight. I do Support VZ bot. I like it. I just was my mind wasn't on it at that time when I built other printers, right? My mind wasn't really looking at the time. I was interested in it because of the speed, but my mind wasn't really on it. So after I finished building that printer, <laughs> you know, you guys was like, why don't you build a VZ bot? Okay, fine. Now I built a VZ bot. So this is basically, um, this was the, Vor the previous Voron Legacy that I've had, and I just reconverted it and kept the same color scheme the black and brown um, because I really do like it it's different it's unique color scheme so I kept the black and brown color scheme um, um, and then turn it into a VZ bot like I said I was gonna go with a gantry now I did change one thing I was gonna keep the Warren legacy bed set up where the you know with eight millimeter rods but I realized it wouldn't have worked it could have worked but I had to change it because of just how the gantry was set up and I wanted to use the full on bed space. So I decided to use the V1.8 bed um, with the eight millimeter rods. I really like the eight millimeter rods because again, it's just more rigid, more stiffer. Plus I'm only using it on the Z, so it's not gonna affect anything um, with the weight or anything like that. If anything, it's just only adding more weight to the printer, but it also makes it more rigid and less prone to shaking or anything like that. As you can see, it's mounted on like wooden stuff and it's not shaking or vibrating like crazy but i'm also not printing as fast as this thing can print right so let's get into the main nitty-gritty so i'm using the vz bot gantry the v1.8 uh bed setup um z setup with 12 millimeter rods instead of eight and i'm also using the trident uh skirt okay i really do like the trident skirt um skirt setup good job um steve bills really make it look nice um, so it's a bit of a combination between Voron and VZBot. But this is mainly a VZBot since it's really based off the gantry more than anything else. I did cover up the sides. I did use glass panels on the side and this time they're sanded down. So thank you guys in the comment. I didn't know you could sand down glass. You know, we don't all know everything, right? But thanks to guys um, when I mentioned I built my uh, trident i did cut myself on the glass so thank you guys for letting me know that you can sand glass down so i did have the glass sanded down so no more sharp edges there um also have glass on that side now here is a smoke plexiglass. glass i just like to see through look you can actually see the electronics down in there pretty cool um so that gives it a nice effect it's a little bit brown like a brown tint to it so it matches the whole build um using a 350 watt uh, 24 volt heater silicon heater with a 300 um, by 300 um, ATP 5 aluminum bed, basically a cast aluminum bed, so it's pretty flat. Um, um, what else I'm doing as well? I'm using some chalk wood in the back and um, chalk wood underneath to cover up the, the, the deck area. Um, 
what else um that's pretty much about it so what i had to purchase for this build is i had to purchase these 400 millimeter i want to say 400 millimeter mgm mgm mgn 12h sorry mgn 12h linear rails right so so two of these 400 millimeter and then i had to purchase a another 400 millimeter mgn 9h car um uh, linear rails so that's the the stuff i had to purchase i did purchase some m4 screws because these require some different type of screws so i did purchase that um let me see what else i purchased um other than that i think i had everything else i did had to purchase the 12 millimeter rods of course and the bearings but outside of that that only cost me like no more than 200 dollars. so in total i spent 200 dollars extra to convert this and of course i have to i also bought the uh the rapido the famous rapido hot end so outside of just those purchase everything else i had uh, on me already as spare parts from other previous printers i've built so this bill for me was no more than 250 dollars in total um for me so which was nice and cheap but let's get to my nitty-gritty so so far i'm very impressed very easy build i like that the requirements for the stl don't require you to do 40 percent infill um, it's like 20 to 25 percent infill still use four walls um, That's where the strength come from But that kind of helped to lighten up the gantry a bit, right? And that's why you're able to print so fast because you have a lighter gantry It's not as beefy as a boring gantry very beefy um, But this helped to lighten up the gantry a bit um, Let me see what else Ah. Uh, it was a little difficult, like I said in the in the previous on the last video. It was kind of a bit difficult finding everything you need because there's so much combination with the Ever Carriage um, um, that I was having trouble finding certain things that I needed to make sure it's worked. There's so much modification; it's insane. So I would say between the GitHub and the Discord, we just need a. I would say they could use a little bit more organization. Um, to find things now if you're like if you're like experiencing building printer and and can reach out to people you'll be able to find stuff but i'm talking from a new build uh, perspective a little bit more organization between the get up and discord to find the appropriate things will be good now there's majority of the stuff you need is on the github it's on the vz um vz but github so you'll find stuff there but it's just a combination, getting used to the combination of what you, um, what hot end you're gonna use, what extruder you're gonna use, um, that type of thing. It's, it, it, yeah, it can get it can get crazy real fast. Um, but so far, I was able to find everything. The only problem I had trouble finding was the, the X end stop here, a little STL there for the X end stop, and then the Y end stop STLs. I searched everywhere in the GitHub folder, couldn't find it. Um, I maybe have not been a good job searching for it, but thankfully um, I had friends people watch this channel was able to guide me and send me those STL that I needed But outside of that I was able to find everything put it together and here we go Now as far as speed this thing is really fast. I can see why everybody was pegging me to build this It's quick. Um, this is the first time I built a printer and after tuning it running input shaper and got the result of using mz uh, the result of it requiring me to use mzv which is a very light one of the lighter algorithm um, input shaper to use and on my x it's recommending 17k a little bit over 17k acceleration on my y it was recommending 15k acceleration right off the rip that is very impressive um so from that point i'm like wow i can actually print that fast and i was able to print at those speeds however the cooling is a hold that hold back for me right now because i'm printing pla and this is going to be mostly printing pla and petg the cooling is just not as sufficient at that speed you know what i'm saying um so that's where i have to slow it down so right now i'm running at 10k acceleration all around with 200 millimeters a second and that's the limitation i can go without the pla looking like a like a hot mess on the edges, right? So that's my limitation I'm running to is because of the cooling. So maybe I'll consider running one of those CPAP things, the new CCAP or whatever that name is now where you run a little, a strong, powerful blower fan and it, and it, you have a little tube that runs in. That's a new thing that they're using now to um, um, to push out much more hair. Um, 
to um the for cooling i might do something like that down the road but like i said i'm mostly printing pla and i'm not going to go crazy with it unless i want to experiment down the road but the option is there and i like that i have the option to do that later on but overall i really like the vz bot good job simon vez it's a great platform i do definitely recommend anybody that wants to print fast want to go crazy want to prototype real quick um if it's your only single printer and you just want it to print fast this is definitely the way i wouldn't even recommend the voron if you have a single printer like a x5 sa you just want to build it up make it print fast make it print abs and everything i would definitely recommend this but if you just want a fancier design more just more support behind it don't get me wrong the audience for this will grow just like voron i think the audience for this will definitely grow it's only getting out there it's only going to get better I think the organization and Discord is only going to grow big and get better. It already is an awesome community. Um, it's only going to get better. But if you want something that is like more sturdy, more, more, how should I put it, intricate to put together, but the result is phenomenal when you're done. You're not really chasing speed. You just want something that works really well. The Voron is definitely the way. It, it's still the key champion here. But this thing is impressive this thing has it, basically this thing i wouldn't even compare them because this thing just stands on its own again just speed wise impressive the fact that you can just build this and start printing like fast right away is just impressive on its own so like for me this is just going to be my prototyping my fast printing pla fast printing petg kind of machine um, for my little Etsy business, this is what this is thing gonna do all day long. Just print PLA and all that stuff. Um, you can again I have the option to print ABS. You can mount if I wanted to. I can mount um, a cover on the top to cover the top, and then put a um, glass in the front here, and then that will enclose my whole thing, and I can print ABS. But because I have so much Vorons already, I really don't need. To do this right i don't really need to have another fifth printer that print abs this these four vorons is plenty enough to print all i need this is just my pla fast printing fast printing printer and that's the purpose for it and just to mess with it you know um so yeah again this was a fun build i did enjoy it um easy easy build guys i definitely recommend this solution this is this is a really really good avenue for those seeking something other than a voron um to build now if you're coming for if you're building this from scratch like that means if you have an x5 sa and you want to convert it's gonna cost you some money it ain't gonna be cheap but because like i said i am from previous build i already had so much parts this end up being cheap for me to convert it just made logical sense for me to do that now the only other gripe i have with this setup now with the Iver carriage i love the Iver carriage so far really love it However, my wiring management, uh, there's not much wiring management here, hence why I like the cable chain on the Vorons. So that's that's a little bit of a, uh, like the seeing the wires pile up on the side here, uh, kind of bother me a little bit, but I'm kind of ignoring it for now. Um, also, I've seen a lot of folks who run the V Core 3, so that the Rat, the Rat Rig V Core 3 and the VZ Bot, they tend to use like the soft silicon cable or some uh, or PTFE uh, cable, like cables that are. Um, wires that are very, how should I put it, flexible. And the problem is that their their wire sags. It like sags, and I don't like that look. To me, that's not that's not neat looking. So I used a the Igus continuous flex cable chain. I went with a slightly thick um, thicker version of it, so that way my cable stay upright. And as you can see, it stays upright. Um, I made sure to put enough zip ties there enough zip ties here just to keep it in place just to hold it in place it is a little stiff because it has it's it's 20 gauge wire by 20 so there's 20 20 gauge wire inside and that allows for enough expansion so basically if i wanted to expand and put an led light or put a permanently station a um a accelerometer on here i could i could definitely do that i have enough wire that i i'm not sure if you guys can see that but i've zip tied the extra set of wires up there um and as you can see this extra set of wire right here so if i needed to expand if i'm down the road with additional stuff to the tool head maybe let's say they you know they came out with an eva 2.5 carriage and they added led and all this fancy stuff i have enough wire to expand without tearing down my old printer just to add that in so that's what i love about this now i know can bus um pcb boards are the new thing 
but when that gets popular i'll transition then but for right now i'm going to stick to the the igos cable um the, the igos igos continuous flex cable and some um jst and microfit for now but so far guys i love it i'm enjoying it um as you can see it's printing right now like really quickly and um like i said this is not the limit of the printer i can push it further but again but again due to cooling that's what's holding me back from printing any faster but it can go much faster than this which is very impressive um i also got my uh clipper screen working on a spear and um, on a spear um amazon fire hd7 so i like that that's really nice i really like the clipper screen setup now so again this just completes the whole thing for me and yeah i really like this build so yeah guys hopefully i provide enough information for you guys um yeah i like it i definitely recommend the vz bot guys it's really 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 nice build easy build and i definitely enjoy it as you can see i'm also running uh um two beefy stepper motors back there so these are 1.8 uh degree stepper motors they're from stepper online they're 92 ounces uh, so they're they're pretty beefy and torquey uh, and i'm also using 16 t pulleys instead of 22 and i think with 16 to 16 t pulley i think you get a slightly higher resolution on the x and y and a little bit more torque i think not sure um you can correct me if i'm wrong in the comment but i think you get a little bit more torque with that as well but overall enjoy the bill it's a phenomenal printer good job vez simon awesome printer definitely recommend this to guys who have already have x5sa x5s or x5sa pro this is definitely definitely a clear winner when it comes to fast printing um and another option other than a voron this is definitely a, a good choice as well so yes yes vz bot complete so i hope you enjoyed this video guys <laughs> and i see you in another one peace